Human digestion starts in the mouth, where the chewing action breaks up the food and coats it in saliva, which not only eases the swallowing process, but also starts to break down the starches within the food due to the enzymes present in the saliva. In the mouth, the food is formed into a ball or bolus, and is then passed in a peristaltic way down the esophagus or throat. There is a flap or epiglottis in the throat that prevents the flow from passing into the lungs. Food arrives in the stomach where the gastric juices, which are high strength hydrochloric acid along with sodium chloride, gastrin and a few other chemicals. They have two jobs to perform, one of which is to kill off any harmful bacteria that have made it that far into the body. The other is to break up the food and enable the nutrients to be absorbed by the body. The gastric juices are helped in this operation by the frequent churning of the food within the stomach, making sure all of the food is thoroughly exposed and processed. It's here in the stomach that the proteins are broken up, ready to be absorbed at the next stage. After two to four hours, the stomach contents, which now resemble a form of sludge called chyme, is now passed into the small intestine, and here the proteins are now absorbed. The acidity of the chyme is monitored and regulated. When it comes out of the stomach, the chyme is highly acidic. So in order for the enzymes in the small intestine to function, bile is added from the gallbladder and bicarbonate solutions from the pancreas, making the chyme more alkaline than it was. Once the balance has been restored, enzymes are released further down the small intestine to work on the fat content of the chyme. So this area of the intestine has a very large surface area due to the villi or bumps on the lining which make absorption of nutrients easier. This is important since the vast majority of all nutrients are absorbed in the small intestine. With the proteins absorbed earlier than the fats, finally sugar and other useful items. And what's left is a semi-solid residue or feces which are difficult to process food which are then passed on to the large intestine. A large intestine, which is nearly all colon, is the slowest moving part of the operation as it can take 12 hours or more for food to pass through this area depending upon the individual and the type of food that is actually consumed. It's here that it lasts through a few proteins and starches and with various vitamins like K and B12 extracted in a slow fermentation process. Later, what's left then has the water removed from it the remains can be passed out of the body and disposed of. This does mean that those thoughts about not swimming or exercising shortly after eating because your body is still digesting food is a myth, since your body is virtually always undergoing some part of the digestion process. That's a brief look at digestion. Hope it was interesting.